Yo, what's the deal? You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Cartier. You in Cartier World well, today? You already know why you here. We got another reaction video, bro. It's really just that simple, man. I need y'all to like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe, bro. For real. Turn on those post notifications, man. We on a mission. Man, bro, y'all been doing y'all thing. Y'all been showing love. Them numbers going up. I appreciate y'all. For real. Like, let's just keep running it up. We need 5K subs, bro. We need 5K subs like yesterday. So let's get to it. Today. Tupac tried to pull out when he saw Big Dre in Vegas. Sheesh. You know what I'm saying? That's gangster pop. Thug life. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already know who Pac is. Big Dre took Tupac life, not Orlando Anderson. Sheesh. If y'all don't know, Big Dre was in the back seat with Orlando Anderson. So this is pretty interesting, man. So we're going to tap into this and really see what's going on. I did an interview with Keefy D, and I know I spoke to you about this, so I want to ask you about it. When I did the interview with Keefy D, right, he said that mm. after he got back from L.A., after, you know, shooting Tupac in Vegas or whatever. Sheesh. Man, if y'all don't know, Keefy D, he got, you know what I'm saying, he got caught up, he got arrested and all that for the murder of Tupac. I don't know if he just wanted clout. He just went on a whole press run. He really got himself locked up going interview to interview, speaking on a murder case, this, that, and the third. Just, you know what I'm saying? Keefy D, he's an older man. Uh, Big Dre is dead. You know, I don't know why he went in and spoke on all that, to be honest. He's, to be honest, he's currently out on bail. Uh, man, was he cooperating? Did he snitch? We don't know. Sheesh. But... It's just crazy, man, you know. It's crazy. It's it's a lot of context here because it's saying Tupac, he was trying to pull that thing out on Dre Pauls, you feel me? So it, it had to have been some type of tension going on. He said that he was with Von Zip in L.A. They was at a wing spot. He mm. said that Von Zip, he got a call from Puffy asking him, what's that dumb? Do you know anything about that? I don't really know it to be true. But I could see Puff calling Zip and asking, did uh, he know who did the shooting mm. or did he know anything about it? Mm. Because we got a phone call that... Why would he say that on the phone, though? That's a little sketchy. How much involvement did Puff really have if he calling asking all them details? Feel me? Was it like, oh, did you get the job done? Or was it like just on some nosy, them the ops, like what really happened? Telling us about that uh Keefy D and they people them had shot Pac them. Mm. Tell me about that phone call. I think I said something to you before about it when Lou Daddy uh, called Pause. the block, called my man uh, Slick, and he had him on speakerphone, and he said, yo, man, when I come back in, I'm going to tell y'all what happened, man. You know, them got them. Sheesh. You understand? He said that they saw them, uh, and they was like a half of, they saw them on, they were going, just say, they going west, and them is going north or south or whatever like that, mm. and they saw them, so they they told Daddy and Zip them, Yo, we'll see y'all later back at the hotel. I'm going to go talk to these n****s. <laughs> and they zipped around and came around and did a U-turn mm. and got alongside a pocket and shook them and started talking to them. Mm. And that's when Pac appeared to be reaching to one of the guns that Suge had back in the drop box. And mm. that's when uh, Dre lit his ass up. Sheesh. When you say Dre, right, it's hard for me to keep going on with the interview. Hold on, you hold say on. Dre is the one that Man. Bro, y'all hear what's going on? Do y'all... Man, bro, it's getting real tricky right now. Tupac, because everybody believe Orlando is the one that shot Tupac. So you really do believe that Big Dre is the one that was behind shooting Tupac in Vegas? Man, I believe it was Big Dre who did it mm. because... The dude, you gotta go by who said what right after the incident. They said a big black arm mm. came out the window. <laughs> you got Big Dre go. was a big dude, big beefy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they saying, bro, you feel me? 
come on, man, the witness right after, that ain't no changing up the story. People ain't getting paid off. You know, it do make a lot of sense. And see what Keefe D first said to the people, bruh. Keefe D said he handed Dre the gun. Mm. And Dre said, nah, 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 man. You understand so what Dre I'm had Because Dre was alive. So Dre had the yearning. He had the, the pistol on him. So it is possible because Keefe did pass him the, the whole year to me. You feel me? And we don't know if he really was like, nah, nah, nah. He could have really got the busting on him. Sound like, you know what I mean? Dre was alive. Everybody was alive then when Keefe D gave that statement. Everybody was alive except Orlando. So he had to put it on Orlando. Because mm. you put all the on a dead man. Mm. Because there's no way Keefe D being the boss that he was back then that you're going to give a gunman or somebody who's supposed to be a gunman a gun <laughs> and he's going to tell you no. And he's still going to get in the car with y'all? Facts. Motherfucker, you better get on the bus. <laughs> if you my shooter, you better get it cracking when it's time to get it cracking. Hey, nah, th hey, that's facts, man. Like, it, I guess the story just got lost along the trial and everything that was happening. But if the original witness, like, yo, I seen a big black arm and KVD, like, I tried to pass it to bro. He probably really did pass it to bro. It's sounding like this really could have been Big Dre. Oh, shit. No way you gonna ride with us. And then you got to realize KVD also made a statement that Pac seemed like he was reaching for a gun mm. and he turned to the right. Mm. So if he turns to the right, he's facing the door. Mm. Ducking. Mm. How do you know who shot the gun? Unless they told him afterwards. Mm. Right? Dre ain't going to say he shot it. Because now Dre is a murderer. Mm. We're going to put it on Orlando. Sheesh. But Orlando said he didn't do it. Mm. You do believe that Tupac was trying to pull a gun? I believe based on Pac actions, mm. based on Pac not taking his own gun, mm. Sugar probably told him, yo, man, I got these joints in the drop box. Show Pac hey. what the drop box was. In the BMW. That's a fact, though, because it's like, to pot, we know Doug, like, you see it, it's on the stomach. Like, nigga, we, we know Pac was really about that. He was really, you know what I'm saying, about that life. He was in and out of jail. He had a lot of situations going, man. He was very controversial, but ultimately good for the people. It's more so his spirit and, and the message that he brought that we love about Pac. But it, man... You know what I'm saying? Pot like, hold on. Pot like, don't, I don't, you feel me? Don't, don't bring the pistol. Don't grab the urine to me. But they had some yearners in the car. So Pot could have, man, he could have reached too slow, bro. You know what I'm saying? He could have, you know what I mean? Dang. Sheesh, bro. He could have, you know, he do shot faster, man. That's unfortunate. When the police took the guns, took the car, they didn't even know the guns was there. Mm. I heard Reggie speak on that shit. The guns were still in the car when they got the car back. Hmm. So Pac knew where the guns was at. Mm. And if he was reaching back there for it, I could see Dre shooting him. Mm. So it was on sight. You know what I'm saying? That's what it sound like. It was on site, bro. They had, they know each other. It probably was some beefing going on, internal conflict. And Pac, he could have either been one ducking. Turn your low energy into. Pac could have been one ducking for cover. Pac could have been reaching back trying to get that yearning. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. But RP Tupac, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Was it Big Dre? Was it Orlando Anderson? You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know, man. It's Cartier. You in Cartier world.